Hi, this is Rachel with Beataholic, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a crimped leather cord earring. This is the Swinging Lotus earring, and it features a teardrop shape of black leather with some metallic seed beads down here to catch the light. And the ends of the cord are fitted into this double strand crimp end cap, and then attached to a tiara cast earring post featuring a really cute lotus design. So when you're working with leather, the findings can really add to your design. In fact, this earring was inspired by this uh, double crimp end cap here. So I have a couple other examples of leather findings just to show you that you can work into your leather designs. I have some single strand end caps with loops. I have a spherical magnetic cord clasp. So these little balls just come apart and then go back together magnetically. I have a long hook and eye clasp here. This is a really cool elegant shape. And I have some three strand end caps with a loop. So this is for your three strand leather projects. So all of these are really cool and can really uh, enhance your project as another design element. So I'm going to show you how to make this earring. And for this you'll need some 1.5 millimeter leather cord. And this is a great project to use up your leather cord scraps. So if you have any extra leather lying around, you will need about four inches per earring. You will also need some metallic seed beads. These are union seed beads in vitriol. You'll need a two strand leather crimp end cap. You'll need a tiara cast lotus earring post and some earring backs here. And you'll need a jump ring. And for tools, you will need some flush cutters and I have two pairs of flat nose pliers, but you can also use flat nose and round nose. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my leather cord here and I'm gonna measure just about four inches. And the amount of leather you use will determine how big a loop your earring will have. And now onto this piece of leather cord, I'm going to put 12 of these metallic edged seed beads. And they should fit over your one and a half millimeter cord. A good tip if you're having a little bit of trouble getting your beads on your leather cord is to cut the end on the bias. So just hold your flush cutters and make a bit of a diagonal cut to create a point in the leather and that will help you slide your leather cord more easily through the beads. And then once your beads are on, just quickly cut off that point. All right, so when your beads are on, take your crimp cord end and fit the ends of your leather into each hole. So there are two holes of this cord end and just stick your leather in about halfway because the holes are open at the top and you don't want your leather poking through like that. So once your cord ends are in, take your flat nose pliers and all you're gonna do to crimp this finding is take your pliers and squeeze. And I'll do a couple of squeezes on each side. And that will trap the ends of your leather cord in this cord end. Okay, so there's the loop part of your earring. Next thing you're gonna do is take your jump ring, and I'm using a five millimeter jump ring. And I'm just going to open it. And onto this jump ring, I'm going to slip the loop of this barrel end finding and the loop of your tear cast earring post. And I'll just close up that jump ring. And the very last step is I'm gonna take an earring back and just pop it on the back of this earring. It'll click into place. So there you have it. That is how to make a leather cord earring using this really cool crimp end cap and leather cord and seed beads. 
You can find all of these supplies and many more colors of leather at beadaholic.com. Thanks for watching!